Do you hear me? Settle down. Right, settle down. Filthy. Go to sleep. Settle down, Flynn. Do you hear me? Don't sit. Sit down. Just sit down. Do you hear me? Now that's better. Sit down and go to sleep. Here, here. Go to sleep now. Do you hear me? Just settle down. That's better. And check, Tom. I can have your attention. Dr. Halsby. Yes, good news, I'm happy to say. Out of the latest batch of cloned embryos, we have three that are developing normally. Two are already frozen, one is ready for implant. Now, I don't have to tell you what this means to our project. It will no longer be tied to a single specimen and we'd have demonstrated that we have a product for potential mass manufacture. And we've been banging our head against this particular gate for so long and it's hard to believe that it's opened. But there it is. And we have the host mother in the patient wing now. Marie Forrester. Right, procedure. We monitor events and then induce a spontaneous abortion after 21 weeks. We transfer the fetus to intensive care and then carry out a second implant so that the mother can go away happy. Any problems with this? Good. Well? No one there. When can we start breaking down specifications? You mean for patent application or the product notes? Either. Well, as soon as I'm confident that we can release the first model for full investigation. Well, the way he's been behaving lately, I'm sure none of us would be very sorry to see him go. That'll be your department, Thomas. Assuming, of course, that you feel as if you're up to it. Just tell me what you need and when. Full works this time. You want sacrifice? Full dissection. Well, if there are going to be any surprises, let's have them now. And not discover them further down the line. At the moment, we're not even sure how the hybrid enzymes work. We can hardly go commercial on that basis. Questions? Well, when do we go public? Well, we have the deformities to correct, and then we have to get the breeding program up and running. Look, there's only one way to present this, and that's as a fait accompli. Anything less will be shot down before we start. Understood. Right, thank you. Carry on as normal. understand I think he doesn't want to but it doesn't have to be this way you understand me Chad I can't protect you but you can stay or run. 
whatever you want. It's your choice. He got up, you know. I never thought it was. Well, will you tell that to Jenna? I'm really sick of being treated like dirt around here. Let's soon get over it. Can I ask you to do something for me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do the late feed without me. I need to drive down to London tonight. What's happening? I let my flat to somebody. He's supposed to stay for a weekend and he's been there for over a month. It's time he went. Are you, uh, think you're selling it or moving back? Don't forget the extra vitamins. need to take full details of your license. Sorry. What kind of vehicle would you like? Uh, golf. I, I, I'm sorry for a quick getaway. <laughs> right, credit card? Thanks. This may take a couple of minutes. Depends how busy the lines are. I suppose you have robbed a bank or anything, have you? Oh, oh, six, seven, three, oh, two, six, three, 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 nine. Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, that's right. Yes, I would appreciate that very much. Thank you. <clears throat> Is there anything wrong? No. No, nothing at all. <laughs> Any chance? Yes, could you just wait a couple of minutes? Inside. I suppose you used the siren. Of course we did. Take another look. We'll go for it.
spray that on for me, would you? It's been killing my arms all the way here. this way for nothing. I'll tell you one thing, I won't be taking it back with me if you can't. You can have it as a salad instead. It's all right, you know. They really didn't see you. I've been doing this trip every fortnight since they moved him up there. They do that, you know. They move them all around and they never tell you where. Half the time, they don't even know themselves. I've seen more of the country since he got sent down than ever did when he was at home. The only thing that ever got him out of the house was the thought of breaking into somebody else's. Listen, you don't mind me talking, do you? And you'll have to say so if you don't. Because I can go on like this for hours. I'm like a budgie with a mirror. I don't mind. I, I mean, it's only me. It's not a come on or anything. I've already got someone else back home as it is. Well, why do you still go and visit him? Well, I look at it this way. I've still got my choices, with or without him. But without me, he's got nobody. And that's nothing he can change while he's in there. Not unless he starts wearing his trousers backwards. But I mean, to have nobody. Nobody on your side, nobody even thinking about you. Well, I wouldn't wish that on anybody, would you? Hello? Could I speak to Deborah, please? No, this is her father. Deborah? Daddy. I'm sorry I didn't phone you last night. Whoever that was answered the phone asked if I was Mike. Who is he? What does he do? Has he got another name? Is Daddy being curious? Listen, I've got some bad news. No, 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 nothing like that. I won't be able to see you in the play, I know. I was looking forward to it. No, I was a bit of a problem. Something I'm doing, is, it's got a bit serious. No, no, nothing for you to worry about. Listen, as soon as I get back, we'll go to that little Italian restaurant, have some gnocchi. You can bring this mic along. Oh, my God, the, the battery's down. Darling, save me a program. These should start you off. Thanks. What do they cover? All the main European news agencies. What about the States? I'm trusted for those. Most of them have London Bureau, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose they do. What is it? Job applications? Uh, yeah. Yeah, something like that. I'd have to 
copies done in a hurry, and um, those were the only tapes I could find. Hope the contents live up to the colours. Never say you don't get looked after. Have you run me bath? Landlady's on her way over. Wouldn't take you long to get established, does it? And the son she never had. Not like the dog she went and lost. Come on. Go <sighs> happening? We're working on the assumption. Whoever he is, he won't leave the area. Also, that they don't have to look very hard for him, because sooner or later, he's going to come to them. They're confident of them. Every now and again, they all dive out and round up a sheep. They're shielding him. Shielding him, sheep. They're going to wipe him away. Every time they scramble, they take a flamethrower with her. They've already had at least one bad accident with it, but nothing changes. You've got judge, jury, and destruction of the evidence in one bargain package. Do they know you're watching them? They know and they don't care. In any sense, but we're all controllable. Uh, what is it you're going at? Sooner or later, he's gonna have one ball too many. We've got the victim's relatives, we've got the coppers that were here on the day, we've got the people in the valley and the press. Don't care what Hennessy thinks. They're not all arse liquors yet. Still don't know him, do they? He's one of their own. Some prodigal son got a bit too prodigal. Now they want to stick it all down the pan and pull a chain. Makes me sick. They fools to themselves. Make enemies of the rest of us. Where do you think that's going to get them? Come in. What can I do for you? You wouldn't have such a thing as a roll of sellotape. I woke up in the middle of the night, reached to the light switch, bang goes the bedside table. Thanks. Don't you keep spares? It's in my luggage. My luggage is in the car. Windler sent the car away. Bastard. Well, he is. Him and the others. I think there's nothing in life you can't solve without running 15 miles and shouting at him. Are there any developments? You mean, did the beast turn up last night? No. When did you first see it? First time. Just after it had been... I don't know. Born isn't the word. What did you think? I'd been prepared for it, of course. It looked so... human. It almost threw me. Almost? Well, oh, look at what it did here. I'd say that settled any argument forever, wouldn't you? My God, look at me. I hope I don't meet anyone I know. I just have to sneak back in the dark when all this is over. By the way, your fellow Carson's been giving us a few headaches. What did he do? He dug up Lyowski. Lyowski's pretending to be a vegetable. Do we have a witness who says otherwise? Where's Carson now? Apparently. He's heading this way, which is fine. Why? Well, he'll run straight into the arms of the glory boys.
pretty good, eh? Is it ready? Only just. We put the new trim on this morning. Alison Wells? Yeah, yeah, I'm a friend of hers. She's pretty tied up at the clinic. She said to come down and uh, pick it up for her and uh, pay for it. Ah, well, look on the bright side. You got free accommodation, a la carte service, all the country walks you could want. It's the Greek Islands next to that, eh? Jeez. I'm powerless. What is there for me to do here? Somebody's got the right to report. You keep watching. Back here so soon. Not after what you've been through. I didn't think I had much choice. I'll get no answers out of him. Don't need answers. So what will it get you? Look, I know what you're trying to say. But just look at me. I'm going nowhere. I might as well have been up there with the rest of them. That's the truth of it. I'm just a dead man. Still walking. You should go home. I've been home. suppose you've got the faintest idea of the trouble you're causing. I mean, for you, not for me. I'd have thought the message was pretty clear. You were given a fair chance, but no. You couldn't keep your nose out. Just ask yourself one thing. Who does this help? You? Miss Pickford? The relationship was over. And now she's dead and gone. So what on earth did you expect to achieve? There was an accident here. The causes have been contained. At no time were members of the public in any danger. These are the facts. Anyone who claims otherwise helps only our enemies. And there's a name for those who help our enemies, Mr. Carson. I want you to take a little time to think about that. Who is he? 
He's the deputy commissioner for genetic control. I'm not sure whether he's home office or DTI. They regulate the business here. Mostly they just give it whatever it needs. Nobody quite anticipated this though. What exactly do you know? All of the background. And none of what happened. What did he mean by enemies? Anybody with a rival claim to a patent? Or people like you? You know about Chad, don't you? Is that his name? I gave it to him. I'm the one who mostly raised him. I taught him to sign. He can't speak then? Never had the chance. He used to cry a lot as a baby, so Dr. Jenner cut his vocal cords. It was nothing cruel. It's a standard laboratory procedure. I just don't see you in all this. Then don't see me as something I'm not. I was in this from the beginning. I believed in it. But you don't believe in it now. Let's just say I ran out of ambition. So how did you get out here? I, uh, stole your car. It's off the road. It was. Um, well, it is now. <sighs> Someone tried to put a stone through the window. You know, by the farm? I mean, near enough where it happened before. He's been watching the road for me. What do you plan to do with Carson? I really don't know. I was hoping you might have some ideas. Not exactly my department. I suppose you couldn't just take him out and lose him somewhere. Like a dog on the motorway. Could you? No. No. Check the fuse boxes. I'm responsible. I let him out. Why? They were going to carve him up alive. I'd rather he'd got out and died of exposure on the moors. I let him out and that's how they all died. I thought he'd run. I, I really thought he'd run. <sighs> so he knew he was gonna die. He must have hated Jenner. I don't think there's anyone in this world he loved more. You explain it. I can't.
the way he likes to live. I don't know. He's only ever lived in a cage. You don't understand, do you? Chad was the prototype, but he came too early in the project. Jenna was just keeping him alive until he could perfect the process. I don't think he's here. I think he moved on. You think or you hope? But either way, there's no one around. I think we should look around a bit more. should burn. Away from here. What was that? What? You've all been looking for. If you want to be useful, get these two down to the village. Hey! Hey! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! She can handle him. She's probably the only one who can.
we do? Listen to me, Chad. Chad. You can't stay here. You have to let us help you. That's going to be difficult. What did he say? He said, could he please go home? over there and read that out, okay? Um, everything's gonna be all right. Wells, out of the car, please. You've lost. Now, this can end one of two ways. It's your choice. We've got the Jenner Clinic killer here! And they don't want him to be tried! And what are you gonna do? Huh? What are you gonna do? Oh, <laughs> 
Rocky, cover them up. Nice try, Mr. Carson. It isn't over yet. It's not over yet. Perfect. He'll be beautiful when he's fully grown. I'm sure they will. 